Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure, this is City Skylines, and you are watching- Whoa, good steering, my man, uh, as our first cargo ship actually comes into dock. Wow, this, uh, this captain is hardcore. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, and, as expected, here come a whole bunch of trucks. Where are you- what? They've all come out that way and gone, oh, that's a bit of one-way road. Yes, I've done that deliberately to help traffic management. Alright, I'm gonna have to- <laughs> Unforeseen consequences confusing the hell. Where did the where did the boat go? All right, the ship evaporated. Um, yeah, I, I must have blinked or something. But look, here we go. Loads and loads and loads of trucks. Um, this is Ace. Hopefully, these will help supply the uh, the chaps with the blue icons on here that have uh, been uh, bemoaning a lack of uh, of things to sell. They are having to go the long way round, so I would I would hope to see some of them peel off down here, which is a, a new street we introduced last time uh, that goes against the original design of this area. Uh, could have some unforeseen consequences. Well, what am I talking about? The unforeseen consequences I'm referring to, of course, is heavy traffic. Uh, yeah, well, heavy traffic is a thing. It's uh, it's kind of you know the uh, the the major. The major theme of this city is uh, is traffic uh, and garbage trucks, who are still out and about trying to uh, resolve issues. I'll uh, I'll come back here towards the end of this episode, and uh, and we'll see if these uh, flashing blue misery icons have uh, have dissipated in the slightest. I'm also hoping that uh, now that our garbage kind of treatment solution has been dealt with, uh, that these guys will will cheer up. And we've got the incinerators. The landfills are far from full. Um, what's going on? Why? Why? Why is our uh, our garbage fleet not getting the job done? No idea. Uh, equally, the amount of deaths we've got going on there far from ideal. Right. So, uh, in a break from the norm, once I've just fixed this little bit of road, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. Because it doesn't seem to matter how I one way, they're all going to want to go this way to start with. And the reason I've done that is to firstly prevent traffic from using this as a, a cunning cut-off route. Uh, if they, if, you know, if they want to go in that direction, they could zip down there and then uh, pile up this nice big freeway. Um, oh, look at these idiots. Uh, yeah, but you know this uh, this roundabout that goes the wrong way was uh, was a disaster last time around. Still a disaster now. I, I actually, I think it's probably because everybody wants to come out in the same area. It's working. It's working quite nicely for this road, um, but of course that one uh, is it, by and large. I would expect the traffic from here to want to head out this way. Uh, what I could do is I could get rid of that. Yeah, if we stop through traffic on there, uh, or is or was that put there for a reason? I think the reason I put that there is to allow ambulances coming from our uh, our monstrous hospital here to get out and about to where they need to go. Actually, the traffic's eased. All right, okay, disregard. I'll move on. Um, right, okay. How am I going to fix this bit of road? I can't delete this bit. That's annoying. Uh, maybe I can upgrade that road. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can upgrade that road so that we go this way. I just... I, oh no, that's question mark. You mean question mark? Exclamation mark. There we go. No? Okay. Right. Fine. No, it doesn't want to let me. Okay, in that case, what I'll do instead is I'll put a, put a roundabout there, maybe? Put, put a roundabout here? Yeah, okay, fine. Obviously, you know, traffic will want to use the other section of this road uh, as we develop it further, um, because it will actually go somewhere, and, and currently it doesn't. All right, splendid. I promise this episode that I will not spend the entire time mucking about with roads as much as uh, this game really lends itself to being all roads all the time. Um, how is a roundabout going to help anything? Why not just make this two-way and be done with it?
you won't get I raise a valid point, really, don't I? Okay, fine. In that case, that's what I'm Do I need to make this section two way as well? No, I think they're, they're still going to they're still going to want to turn around. In fact, it's better if I don't connect to the roundabout at all. But I'm going to. Okay, right, fine. Uh, let's give me something that's not curvy. Oh, come on! You had a road in there. There we go. There we are. That's better. Look, what I'm asking you to do should not be complicated. Give me the give me the wiggly road tool. Because, you know, that'll make things beautiful. There we go. Right, and then uh, straight back with offices on here. It would be nice if the save game remembered which uh, variety of tool you were using when you were last uh, using it. But, you know, that's a, that's a small request. Right, I think they're still going to turn around there, you know. I'm near, near certain of it. Oh, we could put a little... No, 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 there's no point. Look, you've already... Just, just, just get it done. There you go. Right, everybody's happy. Hopefully that leads to less erratic behaviour from trucks. Although, given that this is one way, uh, I can't see them doing that. Why not make it two-way? Where is the harm in making that two-way? Well, you put traffic lights in. Right, I'm going to make that two-way. And then we'll move on. We'll do something that isn't roads. I mean, there'll be roads involved, but it won't be, you know, primarily uh, a road-related uh, episode. Okay, cool. Right, where's my next ship? Not around for a little while yet. Okay, fine. Uh... Oh, yeah, you know what else I could do? All right, okay. I'm I'm kind of nuts about uh, container ports at the moment, so I'm, I'm going to put a passenger port in as well. Um, in fact, I'm going to put in two. Oh yeah, they're expensive, certainly, but uh, we've got space. Uh, let's put you out here. I know you're all thinking I've lost it, um, and uh, you know maybe I have. Uh, but here's, here's the plan. Is we link this up to uh, to both these bits here, and I think actually what I'm going to do is why is everybody left? That's interesting. Nobody wants to live down here. Wow. All right, I've got to do something to get uh, to get interest in uh, in the area back up again, because uh, uh, my happy-go-lucky little peoples are all uh, are all departing the scene at a rate of knots. I'm sure they'll be back. Uh, right, let's put, get some more offices up in there, and actually what I will do is I'm going to stick a, just a little road there that I'm optimistic no one will want to use. How can this be? Because I'm going to stick a park on it. In fact, I'm going to stick a basketball court on it. There we go. That's going to, you know, that's going to make everybody in the area just lose their minds with happiness. So yeah, so and the, the interesting, the, well, the really interesting thing from from my perspective is uh, is now how do we encourage people to move in? At each uh, you know each stage so far, because everybody's moved out of their little houses down here, perhaps because the land value was low, uh, and uh, and gone for the uh, the kind of the, the rabid tower blocks that I've got set up over the uh, the other side of the city. And I was going to uh, kind of bulldoze the rest of uh, where was previously called Wrecking Ball and turn that into uh, into something a bit more glam. Um, but I might leave it alone, actually. Might leave just a little bit of original build legacy in there. Uh, right, next. Uh, the, the whole reason for building that port is I'm going to build another one. Yes, it's expensive, but I'm making 22k a week. Stitch that. That's good bank right there. Uh, in the hope that we get some kind of water taxi, maybe ferry action going to carry people from over here, which is strongly kind of in the in the residential area, over to here, which is going to be um, 
Ooh, I don't really know. It's going to be something else. Now, is this one way? Yeah, let's not make this one way. Let's make this two way. And as with every new area I make, the, the likelihood that I'm going to uh, revisit later and, and redevelop it in a, in a slightly more uh, conducive to success fashion is high. Anyway, uh, right, what do we want alongside of here? Well, let's, let's give this guy some water to start with. Is there any reason we can't pipe directly across? None whatsoever. But then we shall do just that. Whoa, no, no, what did I just place? Oh, the electricity's done itself. Okay, cool. In which case, ah, ah, I can get rid of those pylons as well, so I will do that. But let's keep our water grid pumping. Alright, I ought to build something over in this area, shouldn't I? Uh, maybe a new... Uh, well, hold on. I need to think about traffic flow. No, that doesn't mean I need to muck about with, with roads for the entire episode again. But I do need to think about where the traffic is actually going to flow to. Because that's, that's what's causing an awful lot of the problems that we're seeing. Uh, is, uh, you know, just a lack of care and attention paid to, uh, to water distribution. Uh, let's commercial this. Should we put low? Yeah, low commercial on this. And because it's relatively close to the, uh, the the container docks, they should have no trouble in getting supplied. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. Um, I'm still hopeful that uh, that when we've we finally finally resolve the the, the garbage disposal disposal issues uh, that. Uh, the, the traffic on the freeway is uh, is going to kind of settle down a little bit. Uh, the other, I mean, the other reason that could be uh, causing me so much drama is, of course, the uh, uh, the fact that pretty much all my residential is in one bit. There we go. Right. That's that's that sorted. Why have you not yet got power? Well, we haven't. We need we need growth in this area for power to turn up. And actually, what I also want to do here is uh, is connect this up, or at least run it towards the. Uh, where's good? We're, we feel good about here. Right. I'm going to try and get it underneath the, uh, the fruit. There we go. Underneath the fruit. Where that's going, not entirely sure. But major major arteries are very much needed uh, to keep things moving. In fact, let's put another one. No, no, you don't, you don't want it. Alright, let's, uh, let's use some train people. Train people logic dictates get the thing across what it is you're trying to get it across and then connect it up to what you're trying to connect it to. like that it's got just a gentle curve in it. So there we go, we'll do that. Okay, now, maybe I'll, I'll connect those up to the freeway, maybe I won't, but that at least means that from one side of the freeway to the other is, is, uh, is now viable. Right, here's our new fleet of trucks, and they've all come out to use the main road. Well, this is an improvement, I guess. And then, why, why, why? Why are you going down there? There's nothing for you here. Are you just using this to turn around and go back the way you came? I think you are. Vehicle AI, ladies and gentlemen, at its finest. Should have put a roundabout in. Oh hell, if they're, if they're just going to go down there anyway, I mean... Obviously, this area is going to be redeveloped at some point, but for now, let's let's make life easier for them. You crazy truck driving buffoons! There we go. Another exciting handbrake turn there from the uh, from the the, the ship. Uh, and actually, these uh, these power cables are really causing part of the problem. So let's ditch them because they're no longer needed. Because we've got a connection from the the kind of the the uh, office builds that are going on nearby. 
Okay, yeah, look, look at that. That was genius. Genius. Should have put around about it. Okay, well, we'll worry about that when we get to uh, Room of Hell. I haven't seen anything happen with passengers yet. I was kind of hoping that we'd uh, we'd get a little bit of retail build going here. Actually, let's, uh, let's give that some juice as well. So, uh, I will have to... Uh, and that's going to get in the way of the container ship. All right, we'll run it down here then. There we go. Right, that should be enough just to get it powered up for now, and I can remove those a bit later on. Come on, there you are. Oh, hello there, cruise liner. Transporting passengers to Springdale. No, what I want is like a little water tank. Steady on. You're going to lose your license driving like that. Um, yeah, what I what I kind of hoped is that uh, we'd get some... Um, we get a water taxi running. Maybe it will later on. I don't know. Uh, fellas? Fellas? Go easy. Ugh. Oh well, you know, first shipping in the city leads to uh, enormous disasters. Right, okay, I need to get demand up. Some of these blues have disappeared. We've got a bit of crime going on here. I can expand out my, from my station soonish, or not, as the case may be. Uh, I do want to get um, more uh, freight shipping by rail. Try and get some of the some of the trucks we've got at the moment off the uh, off the existing system. In fact, let's do that because until demand goes up, I don't know what I want to do with that new area that I've just mapped up. Okay, true. What are you? Oh, train line. Okay, fine. So let's uh, let's just bash this out here. Uh, just a just a little a little curve on the end there. Then let's bang a train station. Oh, it has to be roadside. Okay, fine. Yes, forgot about that. Um, We're going to generate a reasonable amount of traffic here, so let's... Do you want to one-way it, or do you want to two-way it? I'm, I'm starting to become a little bit more comfortable with two-waying roads. Uh, largely because it seems that no matter how much effort I put in, the traffic's screwed anyway. So uh, there is, uh, there's no sense in me losing sleep over, over trying to keep the roads segregated in, in terms of direction. Really, a really ugly junction there, if you like. No, 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 I'm good. Uh, just give me a bit of straight road there. All right, okay. This well, this whole area is ripe for redevelopment. Um, I know that's the excuse I use all the time for for really shoddy placement. Is uh, uh, yeah, you know, redevelopment that'll sort it. All right? Can you? Would you mind flipping? Would you be so kind as to uh, you know flip a room? I want to go here somewhere, just, you know, just because uh, that would, that's what I planned. You know, that was, that's the intention. And here you are, just messing with my plans. Okay, right. Straight, straight line it is. Okay, right. Straight road, please. Curvy will do us no favours at all. So let's put a straight road on there. Give me, give me a train station. Thank you. Bang. There. Right. Okay. Happy now. Let's go right up against the uh, the area it can hold. Oh, it's made everybody happy. Well, oh, thank you, everybody. Uh, you can go in a, in a more a more free form kind of a fashion. Slightly more, slightly more jazz uh, track laying. There we go. That's nice. I'd, I'd rather you could curve the other way. It's all the same to you. Just 
So let's take it out and then and then round. Right, and then round up the What have you got against doing it the way I want you to? Alright, fine, that'll do. Okay. Okay, right, good. So, there we go. Another another train station there, but it's not connected to the road correctly yet. So, uh, let's uh, let's put that into, into play. And we'll use the ugly junctions that we'd set up before. And uh, and just to, to offer a little bit of encouragement to the locals, we'll bang up some industrial here. Uh, do I want to make use of this area at all? I probably do. Well... The ideal would be to be able to get this across the track. Bridge laying is a joy. Too many junctions, gonna cause traffic hell. Oh, I could even connect to the bridge, look. Alright, that's mad. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. So we've now got uh, two rail stations. I mean, they're in relatively close proximity. Um, but hopefully that will mean that, uh, that local goods traffic will go to whichever one's closer. So that might be... It might relieve some of the, the, the interior kind of heavy traffic that we've got going on. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm not deluding myself into thinking, yep, that's it, that's that sorted, especially when I've laid the roads out so badly. Um, but you never know. We'll we'll leave that. Oh, there we go. We've got, some, uh, we've got a bit of demand for industry and offices going on. That's positive. Okay, let's, uh, let's bash this up because the... Uh, the one upshot you always get from increased, uh, you know, whether it's residential, whether it, uh, whether it's commercial, or whether it's industrial demand, is uh, you end up with uh, with increased residential demand as a result because uh, there are more jobs available. This goes far as there. So I'm going to industry the hell out of this entire. industry plenty of room to expand maybe I should stick a, a, another fire station in here uh, it doesn't matter what game you're playing industry always seems to like setting your entire place on fire um, let's go as far as there and then uh, bash all of those up zoned correctly let's have a quick look at fire coverage for the area shouldn't have a problem they've got one already what about crime coverage Oh, opportunity to be a criminal hotbed. Okay, we'll put a proper, uh, proper big uh, cop shop on there. There we go. Good job. Okay, so uh, that maybe will fuel a little growth out in the industrial area, which could lead to a bit more residential demand. I've got plenty of zoned residential already, which is fine. Um, I, I probably need to look at my bus routes again, but... I'll, shall I do that? Off, yeah, I'll do that off camera, um, because I don't know about you, but for me, zoning, uh, uh, creating bus routes is, is pretty dull. So the the, the logic that I'll uh, the logic he says jokingly. Uh, okay, all right, not the logic. The the system I'll use to set that up is. Uh, I'm going to run point-to-point -point services in between residential and uh, and potential interesting for residential kind of candidates. Right, so our next hexagon is over here. That's fine. If I don't put any big junctions in between these two, the 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 issue is going to be one of you know how long is that journey actually going to take them. 
Meshing hexagons. Oh, yes. We should call this junction the Spectacles. Or maybe the Brazier. Actually, it's got more in, more in shapely, shape-wise, more like a bra. Um, fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay, that's something to tell your taxi driver. I'd like dropping off near the bra, please. Um, all right, yeah, heavy traffic all over the place. This actually feels like it might have, have eased a little. We've clearly got problems. This is clearly causing us a major issue. Uh, and so I think there's call for a, a, a read. And maybe this turns into a triple hexagon. I mean, where's the, I mean, this is I mean, this is actually gridlocked now. So the way the game resolves full gridlock is it uh, it will evaporate one vehicle and see if that uh, gets it unblocked again. And then if that doesn't work, it will. Do you see what there? You see that? Whether you did or not, it happened. Um, and then it will evaporate another vehicle, and it will keep doing that every kind of 20, 30 seconds until such a time as the traffic starts moving again. I, whatever's causing it, the only what it doesn't replicate is how drivers actually behave. So, uh, you know, what uh, what drivers would actually do in a situation like this? Let's say you're. Uh, this tanker truck here. You might go, you know what, I'm never getting out of there. So they'll bang it out into the second lane and go, right, we'll go down to the next junction and then take surface streets to get to where we need to go. That's what the game doesn't do, but real people do. Equally, nobody will queue like that. It just doesn't happen. Uh, they'll kind of go, oh, God, I don't want to queue in there. You'll get some jackass in a BMW come down the middle and at the last minute try and cut in. But the upshot is that you do end up with all lanes being being queued in. Now, what if... What if I didn't put traffic on here? How would that help? Okay, well, you'd end up with something else happening instead. Yeah, I definitely need another big junction out from the industrial area onto the... You're talking about traffic. Stop it. Um, okay, splendid. Uh, what have we... Let's see. 24 people used our uh, harbour there. And 100 used it from there. All right, well, that's that's something. Still not a lot of growth. We're still showing, you know, uh, a negative kind of population flux. But do you notice the icon that isn't here? Ah, oh, that almost isn't here. There's three that are still complaining about garbage. That's brilliant. We fixed it. Go us. Jobs are good and everybody's happy. And for that, my friends, I'm going to build you a park. Let's build you something lovely. Have a bouncy castle. Take the kids. Happiness for everybody. There you go. Hooray! Have a park. Alright, good. Let's just check the quick let's check some coverage. Okay, that's fire cover. Sorted. Police cover. Um, this enormous police station is doing a halfway decent job, but I might stick another one just out here. So, no, no, no. Why would you put it on a road with no real connection? So let's put it there. I quite like the way these coverage maps work because they uh, they reflect where the cars can actually get to based on um, uh, one-way streets. We could put it in there and make this the safest part. No, actually, stuff it. I'm not going to bother. Right, what are you? You're an elementary school, I imagine. You're a high school, probably. You're another elementary school, possibly. If we stick, a, if we stick an elementary school in here, that will that only helps out that street. Right here. Uh, if I can find someone to build it, just hypothetically. That doesn't help out anybody. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's that would do it. Let's put it in here and bulldoze that one. There we go. So, uh, just a little bit more school coverage. Uh, actually, I'm gonna let's let's uh, let's interrogate the ones we've already got. Uh, bring up my education, there, please. Thank you. Right, what have you got? Two ninety-four of three hundred. Fine. Here, three hundred of three hundred. Wow. Okay. Well, clearly. Uh, 
breeding an illiterate area there. And here, 300 to 300. Yep, we've probably still got a bit of elementary shortage. And there, 300 to 300. So where is our secondary school? Or, for those watching overseas, high school. All right, well, we need one then, don't we? see where we can actually uh, hit the most people. We're probably going to need two high schools. We'll put one out there, which will make all of those people jolly cheerful. And we'll stick another one. That would be good. Yeah, right there. Alright, cool. And we don't have a university. Evidently, these are things that I did not replace after my, uh, my recent... Uh, no, no, no. I've got... Uh, no, that's education overall. Let's go back to the graph. University. We've got a university. Oh, there's a university. And there's a high... Have we got four high schools now? Which still isn't quite enough. Flip neck. Really? Okay, that's a lot of high schools. Where a dead person is waiting for transit. Mmm. Tune in next time and we'll see if they get picked up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll catch up again very soon.